Hey guys, welcome to my channel. Today's video is a little bit different. I went to Sephora yesterday in LA. It was so fun. And I'm just gonna walk you through a little bit about the event, what it was like being there, and then also show you the swag bag I got, plus all of the samples that they gave out. So let's just jump right into it. I was actually invited by a brand called The Inky List, which is really exciting because they are a very focused skincare company. They were just launched in Sephora in April, but I got to meet the co-founders, so Mark and Colette, it was really fun. I made my own custom um, primer with, what did we put in it? I think it was um, tranexamic acid, so it's gonna help lighten and be a primer for makeup. Hey guys, I am at the Inky List today at Sephora, and I got a custom serum for my skin type, and I'm so excited to introduce you guys to the Inky List because they are very simple ingredients that are very effective. So this is my face, and then I'm gonna stir it. So I am making a primer, and then we're gonna add some really good ingredients that will actually have skincare benefits in it. This is one of the co-founders of Inky List, you guys. So okay. this is um, a special for hyperpigmentation, so it's gonna really help you even that skin out and, and deal with some elastic issues. Cool, perfect. <laughs> it's a little less manual than that. So here's my custom primer. Right, you're good. Okay guys, so the Inculus uses the Ellis pump, which is awesome because there isn't that straw that has to suck it out of the bottom. This gets all of the product out of the bottle. So they invited me to come and then um, with that I got a VIP ticket. So regular general admission tickets were $80 and everyone gets a swag bag. And then if you buy a VIP ticket, which anyone can go, you don't have to be any sort of like blogger or influencer. You could buy a ticket, it's $350 and this is the swag bag that you would get with that ticket. So I actually don't know what was in the general admission ticket. One thing I loved was that they give you the swag bag at the end of the event, so you don't have to carry this bag around with you as you're going through all the activations. They give you a Sephora bag, so you can walk around and shop each booth and just kind of carry all the items and samples that they give you in this bag, so that was cool, and I like these bags because they're always really sturdy. I got to see some really fun new products that are coming out in the next coming months. I got to meet, I don't know if you guys watch the Sephora videos, but um, a couple of the people that are like the faces behind Sephora, I got to meet them. So I'm going to show you videos and little clips throughout. And then yeah, they had activations. So activations are where you get to go and have things done, try things out. So I did the hydrofacial lip perk activation, which is so cool if you spend $75 at Sephora and the Sephora has the hydrofacial feature, you can get a free lip or eye treatment. So obviously I'm getting a perk facial from hydrofacial. It's the lip treatment. So I have to take off my lipstick. The lip treatment's actually going to pump her lips hydrate and it's gonna give her like that nice deep tone to it. Overall, it was really fun. It was a lot smaller than I was expecting, but that's kind of okay with me. It wasn't super crowded. It had its moments where it was crowded, like Patrick Ta was there taking pictures, so of course he had a line basically out the door. But for the most part, it wasn't like, like the lines probably had maybe five to 10 people in front of you. It wasn't like beauty con where the lines are insane and you're basically in line all day. You could go to certain booths and not even wait in the line. So it was really fun. Let's get into this bag. So this is the Charlotte's Magic Cream. This is her instant turnaround moisturizer. I've actually only tried her lip, um, her lip liner and lip cheat, which is one of my, it's actually what I'm wearing right now. So I do like Charlotte Tilbury. I have not tried her skincare, so this is exciting. And this packaging is, oh my gosh. Okay, this packaging is beautiful. Wait, you guys, look. Do you see that? Oh, how fun is that? And then it just, it just opens into this beautiful container. Like this is so shelf worthy. You would want this on your shelf. All right, next, this is from Drunk Elephant. This is the full-size Lala Retro Whipped Cream. 
And I do know that I love this. This is a full size product, so this is like expensive. Okay, I'm thinking already just looking at these items that this bag is definitely worth it. Okay, next is this Natasha Denona. This is her mini star palette. And I have been wanting to try her eyeshadows forever, but she is so pricey and I just couldn't justify it because I'm okay with my eyeshadow palettes that I have and like most colors are basically the same. So I'm so excited to try Natasha's products. And then the two, oh my gosh, the Too Faced Peach Perfect Mattifying Loose Setting Powder. This has been in my shopping cart for months and I don't, I'm, I have a problem where I just buy too many powders and foundations and I think it's just because my skin gets shiny throughout the day so I just want to try them all and see if there's one that like is perfect and I've heard amazing things about this. I know a lot of makeup artists use this. Oh, I'm so excited this was in there. Oh my gosh, this is so good. Okay, Huda Beauty, Huda Beauty. This is the Emerald Obsessions, and I've actually never tried any of her product. Oh my god. You guys, how gorgeous. So her packaging is cardboard, but it does come with a mirror, so that's cool. And you know, this is perfect for travel size. I don't know about the greens, like that's probably not ideal to take on a trip. <laughs> but this is really cute, and I'm so excited to try her products finally. Oh my god. Okay, Sunday Riley, this is their A-plus high-dose retinoid serum, and one of my girlfriends uses this and swears by it. She says that it completely got rid of her acne, like, divots on her face. She's like, this is it. This is the product. So I'm so excited to try this finally. I actually didn't see their booth there, now that I think about it. I don't think Sunday Riley was there. Um, okay, Pat McGrath Fetish Mascara. Can you open this? Do you have to cut this? Okay, you definitely have to cut this. I'll have to do that one later. Uh, Sephora Waterproof Eyeliner. This is a brush tip liner, which I love brush tip liners. When I have to dip them in the pot and use my own brush, it never turns out very well. This, I like to just push along my lash line. And I actually have heard amazing things about Sephora makeup, like eye makeup products, so I'm excited to try this. Ooh, a beauty cleanser solid. So if you use a beauty blender, this is what you use to clean it. It's funny, they all say not for resale. Like they don't want us selling these. <laughs> Which like, I would hope that you would try them. Like you've got them in a swag bag. Unless you already know you don't like it. Wow, well, this thing is on there. Okay. What? Wait, a Gucci perfume. This is Gucci Bloom. Their booth was beautiful, you guys. It was like a big, um, what is that called? Like a big field with those, what are those plants that are really in style right now? The ones that are like, you find them on the side of the freeway. My friend Natalie's obsessed with them. She's like, I'm gonna have these at my wedding. I cannot remember what they're called. I'll show you a picture. But um, their booth was so pretty and they're launching a green bottled version of this I think in December and it smelled so good. Okay, Kosa, Kosa Sport Lip Fuel. So this is a hyaluronic acid lip balm. What is sport? Energizing. So it, wild mint stimulates the senses to increase mental agility and boost motivation. Protective, so it has cone jack root. So it's protective barrier between your lips and the environment and it's ultra healing hyaluronic acid with vitamin E. So it's basically just chopstick. Does it have SPF? No. But this is a cool package. I like how thin it is. I feel like Steve would like this because it's so skinny. It could just go in his pocket. I've never tried any Costa products. Okay, Marc Jacobs Highliner. Ooh, a gel eye crayon. Let's see. So this is black. The color is called blacker, like, but B-L-A-C-Q-U-E-R, like lacquer, but blacker. I, I'm a big fan of Marc Jacobs makeup. That's pretty. That's what's funny. I feel like some designers, like clothing designers, get into skincare, makeup, and it's not 
that great. Marc Jacobs nails it. Like his, his products are just beautiful. He's got some amazing foundations. His concealer is like, if you're ever thinking, should I try Marc Jacobs? You should try Marc Jacobs makeup. Okay, YSL Oil and Stick. This is Ready to Care Shine Lip Color. And this is color Coral Domain. Is that right? I don't know where the color is. Oh my gosh. Look at this beautiful packaging though. And then that's just the color. Ooh, and it's like a nice light sheer, so it doesn't feel like a heavy lipstick. Oh my god, my favorite. Like, tester, right in the middle. Come on, guys. Like, at least put it on the bottom. So, this is Amika's Perk Up Dry Shampoo. I love this stuff. It smells amazing, and it's just, it's one of my favorite dry shampoos. And, like, I've been testing so many other ones that I haven't had a chance to come back to this. So, I'm excited to try it again because... Plus the packaging's really cute. But like, you know when you're trying products and you're like, wait, but I did like that one. So now we get to try. The Amiga booth is so cute. Okay, this is It Cosmetics Brow Power Perfector. This is in color Universal Taupe, which, you know, it's funny considering like my eyebrows are basically black. I don't dye them, this is just what they are. But I usually will use a lighter taupe color to shade them in. Like I always have this bald spot right here. Which, by the way, I've been using... Um, I forgot the name again. This happened to me in my stories last week. I'll have to find it. But it filled in this hole in my eyebrow. So it works. I am really excited. These are my eyebrows. I have nothing on them. I did brush them with like a little spoolie. But you know how I always have that hole right here? The hole's gone. I've been using... Um, I forget what it's called. Okay, it's Librow. This is what I've been putting on my eyebrow. So I'll be doing a review on that soon. But oh, it comes with a little spoolie brush. Oh, so it, okay. I like that. I like when you don't have to sharpen things, but it is kind of thick. So I like to do little brush strokes, but this one, I'm excited to try it. Okay, Laura Jones, this is High CBD Formula Body Lotion. I don't know much about this brand, but their booth was so regal. It had like a, uh, a throne, and then just the branding is so beautiful. So CBD oil is sourced from organic hemp grown in the USA. It is just a really nice hydrating, Lotion. Let's see what the bottle looks like. <laughs> Don't you just love their branding? So Lorraine was so excited about this brand because they had like CBD gummies and she was getting a little overwhelmed by all the people. It smells, it doesn't smell like perfume. It just smells like lotion. So it's probably fragrance free. But, um, so she was like, maybe they'll have the CBD gummies. So they had gummies out, and then the gal working there was so funny. She's like, we don't have these um, available for you. And then she, like, went into the back, and she grabbed us one. I hope she doesn't get in trouble. But she, like, grabbed us a gummy from her secret stash, and she was like, here you go. Enjoy. <laughs> but I guess their gummies are extremely expensive, but I was calm. I mean, I... Ooh, hum. So this is the Hair Sweet Hair Gummies. So these have a biotin, folic acid, faux thai, B12, zinc, and pava. I love when supplements have zinc. Zinc is seriously good for everyone. It's especially great for acne prone skin, but this is, I just love their packaging. So Hum has these sleeping pills that I love. They, I just got a sample of it. I actually need to go buy the bottle. It's only $10. And I don't take a sleeping pill every night, but they put me out. And I slept so well throughout the night. They gave you three, I think, in the pack. And all three of them worked. It wasn't like I took them every three nights. It was like throughout the month, and it was amazing. The sleeping pills aren't gummies. It's just a pill. But I'm going to try these. I'm excited. Oh, the Inkylet. The Inkylet. So they gave out their hyaluronic acid, which it's amazing, you guys. So they use a large and a small molecule, so it's for better absorption. 
a lot of hyaluronic acids on the market only have a large molecule, which actually, when it's not counteracted with a small molecule hyaluronic, it can absorb as well. So theirs is, and all of their products are under $15. So I'm actually very impressed with their lineup so far, and they have some cool new ingredients. So I'll, I'll explain more about them soon, but I'm so excited to try their hyaluronic acid. Okay, Jouer, this is the Essential Lip Enhancer Shine Balm. And this is a brand, I've actually had their foundation in my shopping cart at Sephora for months also. You guys don't want to see my shopping cart. Or I guess it's more of my wish list. It's long. <laughs> Ooh, this is a good color for me. So it has no scent. Ooh, okay. That's really, really pretty. I'm so excited to try this. What is it again? A nourishing, moisture-rich balm with a wash of color for smooth, shiny, kissable, baby soft lips. Good for you ingredients, condition, and provide a long-lasting hydration for visibly fuller, luscious lips. And I'm already obsessed with this color. Urban Decay Eyeshadow Primer Potion. This was the very, oh, it's the original too. This was the very first eyelid primer that I used when I realized, oh wait, you can't actually have your eyeshadow stay pigmented without creasing all day. And, oh, they changed the packaging a little. Oh my God. A full-size hourglass veil. You guys, this is over $50. So I love this. This is a primer. Hourglass makes the most beautiful products, but this is one that everyone needs in their arsenal. It is like one of my all-time favorite primers. It just makes your skin look perfect. It makes your foundation sit so well. It has SPF 15 with zinc. So that is a mineral physical sunscreen that's gonna help just protect your skin on top. I mean, obviously you're gonna wear sunscreen under this, right? Right. But this is beautiful and I love it because it doesn't have flashback. So even if you wear this out at night, you can take pictures with it and you're not gonna have like white face. Oh my God, I can't believe that. So next is, what is this? The Melt. Cosmetics Ultra Matte Lipstick. Okay, let's see what this guy looks like. Oh, it's purple. <laughs> okay, well, I won't be wearing this. <laughs> but, I mean, considering that this is the first product that I'm not super stoked on out of all of these so far. I mean, is that bad to say? Sorry, Melt. Purple, though. Like, do you wear purple lipstick? If you do, let me know in the comments because I wouldn't... I, don't, I barely wear like any color on my lips, so I wouldn't know where to wear purple unless it was Halloween. Um, maybe that was like, maybe that's all they do is bright colors. Okay, Bright Beauty Agave Daytime Lip Balm with Mongongo Oil. <laughs> Mongongo, I'm not making that up. It says that. Unless I'm mispronouncing it, it says Mongongo. So, Superfood Succulents on the go. Oh, how cute is this? Oh my gosh. Oh, it's just like a chapstick. Okay, cool. I love this. It's a little pill. Um, what? A Tom Ford perfume? You guys, these are so expensive. <laughs> I think I have this one. Wait, do I have this? Oh no, I have the Orchid Solel. This is Eau de Solel Blanc. Tom Ford fragrances are amazing and they last forever and they're expensive. Okay, the Way Hair Oil. I personally don't love the scent of the Way, but they were giving out samples of perfume with the scent which is so funny, but this is a hair oil and I've heard amazing things about her products. I just can't get past the scent but I mean, just the packaging is so pretty. So I think I might try the hair oil. Maybe it's not as intense as some of her other products. The Brio Geo Scalp Revival. This is charcoal, coconut oil, micro exfoliating shampoo. And I've tried this before and I remember thinking like, an exfoliating shampoo seems scary. 
but my friend uses this and lives for it. She has like dry scalp. She has curly hair. She can't wash her hair every day. She, I think she washes it every five days and she has to do like the full blowout thing. And she says this is the best. It feels so good on her scalp. And it is a little bit tingly too. So if you guys are struggling with dry scalp, try this one. Almost done. Oh my gosh. This was in my shopping cart too. This is a new product from Dr. Dennis Gross. This is the Alpha Beta Pore Perfecting and Refining Serum. And I am so excited to try this. It's a silicone-free pore treating serum that delivers a filtered appearance as it tackles existing pores and helps prevent new blackheads from forming. So it's really important, like regular exfoliation is so important for your skin, whether it's physical or chemical. If you're prone to blackheads, blackheads oftentimes are like, it's buildup within your pore and it's oxidizing and turning black. So if you can continuously keep that area exfoliated, you're not gonna have blackheads in your pores, which then makes your pores look smaller. And I love his products so much. He has those peel pads that I use. He has the face tan peel pad, which is actually, the, like before I go to events, I will use that one because it just makes your skin look so perfect. It exfoliates as it tans you. And it's just, I just I'm such a big Dr. Dennis Gross fan. Um, hello, Laneja had the cutest booth ever. You guys. How cute is this Laneige booth? Oh my god. So you can pick your own sticker and then pick a cap and mix and match. It was all focused on their lip sleeping mask, which I live for. I put it on every single night. I am obsessed with it. My lips are so... I don't even know if it does anything. I mean, I feel more hydrated, but my lips don't get dry. I just love how it feels and how decadent it feels. But I know that everyone that's tried it swears by it. And they will end like a, a jar, I think it's $20, and it lasts you. I've had mine a year, maybe more, and I'm not even halfway through. I use it every day. But anyways, so Laneige came out with a lip glowy balm. And I was, I actually bought this at the last Sephora sale. I was so excited because I thought that they, uh, I thought it was going to be the lip sleeping mask in this container, but it's different. It's actually a little bit more sticky. So I'm going to try it again. Maybe it was just bad timing, but I didn't love it. So let's see. But still, I mean, this is exciting and Laneige's packaging is amazing. Their products are great. Ooh, a NARS, is this a lipstick? NARS Lipstick Rouge. Okay. How have I never tried a NARS lipstick? Is this purple? They're calling this color Damage Sheer. Look at this packaging though. Like, I'm kidding. So cute. Okay. So it looks purple, right? But it's saying it's sheer, so maybe it just gives this nice... Oh no, that's purple. Is that purple? No, maybe not. Maybe it's just the perfect darker nude. I can't tell. <laughs> I have all the lights and it's like, I still can't tell. So I guess I'll just have to try it on. But it is a really pretty color and this one I would wear. Okay, and then last is this Kaja Bouncy Matte and Shimmer Eyeshadow Trio. Cute packaging. I've never tried this brand. Wait, what? How cute! This is so cute. Oh my god. Okay, so the first color. Okay, the second color. And the third color. This is so cute though. Wow, I love that. Okay, so that was the VIP swag bag, and it was $350. You got all of this, plus I'm going to go through the samples, and I didn't even grab all the samples just because, like, they were giving out the little packets of things, and I just don't use those very often because I have full sizes that I have to try. So, I like, I try to not waste them because I know other people love samples. So, there could have been more, I guess is what I'm trying to say. But they also give you this really cute water bottle. 
These are some of the good Lord Huron gummies. So look at this packaging. Wait, oh no, these aren't just gummies. Okay, how do I open this? So it comes with, this is a mini version of the body lotion, which is so cute. One gummy, and then there, oh, it comes with a lot. Okay, the Royal Oil. You can use it as a skincare booster, just add to your favorite moisturizer. So it has grapeseed oil and CBD. Okay, and I guess it's good for paint. I don't get why there's a picture of this gal rubbing it on her back, but it's saying to use it on your skin. And then some more of the CBD body lotion. Oh, fragrance free and then not fragrance free. Okay, gotcha. Should I eat the gummy now? I'm really big. Strawberry. It's really squishy. Okay. So Clean was there. They have the Clean perfumes. And they just launched a new one. Oh, actually I really like it. I didn't like it that much when I was there. Um, so their new scent is Solar Bloom. She gave me like 10 samples of this, which I feel like one of these lasts me forever. But I just love their branding. Their booth was really cute. Oh! Okay, I did get some good samples. Is this the Gucci Flora? Is that the same one that they gave? Gucci Bloom. So Gucci Flora. Okay, so there's Gucci Bloom, Gucci Flora, and then they're coming out with the green one. But I got a sample of the Flora. And then the Herbivore Baca Bacuchiol Oil or serum. So this is a retinol alternative and I've been dying to try this. I actually placed an order on Sephora because one of the gals I follow, another skincare blogger was saying that they, it was like a gift with purchase. So I literally ran the Sephora and bought $25 worth of items so that I could get the sample. And then they didn't send it because Sephora never sends the right samples anymore. It's like a thing. Does anyone else experience that with Sephora? It's annoying. Okay, and then next, oh, Youth to the People has a new kombucha 11% AHA exfoliator toner. And I love how at the booth she was like, you're going to want to build into this. Like she's telling you how to use it, even though it was just a sample. She's like, start every couple nights. And it's true. Like when you're using a high percentage of alpha hydroxy acid, you want to build your skin up to it to build a tolerance. Some people have very sensitive skin and can only use it like once every couple of weeks. That's okay too, like at least you're doing something to exfoliate. I just love their branding and this is, it's like a really nice little bottle actually. Did I show you what the herbivore looks like? I think I did. I love herbivore's branding. I'm upset though because I didn't use the lapis oil fast enough and mine started to get milky and go bad. So you have to use these products because they don't have preservatives and they definitely have an expiration date. Some of them, you can, like some other brands, you can skip the expiration date if the product seems okay, not with Herbivore. Okay, so Lawless, I've actually been wanting to try these. They've been on my wish list for a while too. This is the Seal the Deal Loose Setting Powder. So they gave it color Brightening Translucent and then Golden Translucent. She said, use the Golden Translucent as a bronzer unless you're very tan which I'm not. <laughs> so this will be, I'll trust it as a bronzer, but like a bronzing powder kind of scares me. And then there's, I love a good setting powder and I've actually heard good things about this, so we will see. Okay, an Amika sample of their Undone Volume and Matte Texture Spray, which I don't know what matte texture spray does. I like my hair to look really shiny and healthy, so I'll try this, but we'll see. Does it smell like Amika? <laughs> Yeah, it smells like the Amika products, which is so good. So Fresh came out with a new Sugar Strawberry Exfoliating Face Wash, and I tested it on my hand. It feels really good, and this is, it's a physical exfoliant, which means you can feel the scrubbies, but it's so mild, you can actually use it every day, and I, like, my skin can handle it. If you're sensitive, I would not recommend that, but it smelled amazing. So this is new from Fresh. I think it's available in stores now. It might be limited edition though.
And then the Sol Gennaro Coco Cabana Cream. They had the cutest booth. I'm going to show you guys, but it was like these two guys in Speedos. It was so funny. The, just And the bike and just the whole setup was amazing. <laughs> Okay, so some Living Proof products. So this is their Nourishing Styling Cream. Their Perfect Hair Day 5-in-1 Styling Treatment. Their Perfect Hair Day In-Shower Styler, which enhances texture and shine for air-dried styles. But you do it in the shower. I'm confused. Apply in-shower to clean wet hair. Generously coat from roots to ends. Lightly rinse. So I'm thinking this is a mask. Maybe. And then a triple detox shampoo. So this is their hair and scalp shampoo. And this is actually perfect for travel. Like this can get you through a few days. This is my custom serum from Inky List. Oh no, I have Lorene's. Wait, this isn't mine. <laughs> okay, shoot. So this is, um, Hers has tranexamic acid, which I'm so excited about. It's like this new lightning ingredient, but I'm so excited I'm going to use this. <laughs> Did she get the, let's see. Oh, she got the moisturizer. Oh my God. So they don't use um, scent. So everything just smells the way it's going to smell. It's not, they don't add things in it to make it smell better. But this actually kind of smells nutty but very mild and it, oh, it's already dissipating. Oh, I cannot wait to try their whole product line. Okay, the Libre, this is the new perfume from YSL, so we got a sample from them. And then the Natasha Denona eyeshadow. So they were giving out single eyeshadows. And this, how cute is this? I just love single eyeshadows. Palettes are pretty, but when they're cute, packaging is just like a little thing, I love that. So this is my everyday color. So I'm so excited to try this. Ooh, I'm wiping this places. I wonder where. <laughs> so Summer Fridays had a booth. They were giving out these bags. You could like spin the wheel and they give out a bag. And they didn't even have their new vitamin C serum as like a sample to take home and try. But they give you an overtime mask, the R&R mask, and then the jet lag mask, which the only one I've tried from them is the jet lag mask. So I'm excited to try these. And they have a new vitamin C serum that I'm really excited to try. Okay, so that's everything I got from Sephora. Oh, no, it's not. Okay, so also with the purchase of the VIP ticket, you get a $20 gift card. And you could use it at the event or you could use it at home. But they have this really cool carousel, like, you could walk through and purchase mini items, or some of the items were mini. And it was, if you bought five, you get this little bag, and it was this whole cute thing. And so Lorraine and I were like, let's just do it. We'll just pay tax and see what they have. Guys. They had full-size Olaplex number three, which I think is normally $28. They had these for $5, so obviously we bought three. <laughs> and this was before we knew what was in the VIP bag. We were just like, hopefully nothing we're buying is in there. And it looks like actually nothing I bought is in here, so that's cool. But Olaplex, like that was worth it. And then the Smashbox Photo Finish Original. I love their purple one. I don't know what it's called, but I'm excited to try this because this is one of the very first primers I ever tried. And I do love the Smashbox foundation, so I'm gonna try this with that. And then just like the OG bronzer. This is from Hoola, and I've never tried it. Can you believe that? So everyone loves this. Everyone swears by it. Packaging is so cute on minis. I love it. And then it comes with this brush that I will never use. Like, What is that, a contour brush? Look at it. it's so skinny, but like, just so cute. So yeah, that was, that's Sephora. Okay, so my final thoughts on Sephora were, it was, it was fun. It was much smaller than I was expecting. I, I would like to see what the general admission bags looked like. The VIP, so you get this 
big swag bag worth like $900 worth of products. You get into the VIP area upstairs. And And I don't think you need the earlier access there because it wasn't that insane. It's not like BeautyCon at all. It's very chic and cute and playful and fun and just, it was a really fun day of beauty. there were so passionate about their products it's just a really cool fun experience and if you love samples and trying new things like I would definitely go I think Sephora is it was pretty cool it was awesome actually what am I kidding like I would go again <laughs> this is a lot of product and all of these I will say like I actually want to try them so sometimes you go to an event and you're like oh, I'm good I would say the only one I'm pretty good on is Where'd that purple lipstick go? <laughs> that I am good on. I don't need that. Overall, amazing day. So fun. The brands were amazing. Swag bag's amazing. Like, such a beautiful event. Thanks for watching. And um, if you guys like this video, subscribe to my channel. I would love to see you next time. Bye.